least be on time. Motherfucker, I've been here for anyone. I was here an hour and 15. Oh, shit, I got the wrong logo on the screen. So let me ask you something. Seriously. You just said to me, right, that what you needed more time because you were building on that R- RTA. I didn't say that. Oh, now, okay, so now we're going to be dishonest. <laughs> I said go. I needed a few minutes to wick it, but. Unbelievable. At least I'm vaping it. You're not. You're fucking going to pretend that you're vaping on yours. Oh, really? Let's yep. start the show and find out then. Why don't we do okay. that? First, do we it. need to do our, our sponsorship sellout moment. Welcome. Welcome to the Vap Team. We're a bunch of vapers. We love to vap. I'm a vapaholic. I hope you guys love to vap as much as I do. We're gonna vap like crazy. Please, Mark. God. I got some ice brewed Starbucks. I'm ready to fucking roll. Is it ice brewed from Starbucks? It's the new cold brew. Yeah, it comes from like those big tanks that look like kegs. Mm -hmm. They have them underneath the counter with hoses attached to them. Well, these are the pre-made ones that you can buy now in the glass bottle. Yes. Like instant goodness. All right. Speaking of instant goodness, this is not going to be instant goodness. This is a 20 minute intro, and it begins now. 20 minute fucking advertisement, 20 minute intro, 20 minute outro, 10 minute show. Hey, everybody, you guys ready to zap? We're going to get zap in the night. I got my zap on. I got some bad juice. I'm ready to fucking bat. Yeah. Cause I'm a bat Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Ignition. Ignition. We are live. What up, everybody? Uh, yeah, 167, the great team. Yeah, it's time. The vape team. With me, as always, is, well, definitely not Mike Vapes. Mike Vaps, according to Mark. With me, as always, is that special fuck down below that has his microphone turned off. I can't even hear you, Mark. Why did you... Why did you boot me from Zoom? I didn't boot you from Zoom. Right when you said, we are, and then, bam, the Zoom room just crashed. Did it really? Yeah. Do we have a technical difficulty? Oh, well, it crashed for me. I don't know if it crashed for you. Did you have to sign back in? Yep. That's really weird because the room was locked. Oh, wow. That is weird. Wow. Anyway. Well, how- anyway, Mark's here, and also Mike is here. Good evening, Mike. Good evening, Greg. Good evening. Good evening. So, we have so much to talk about tonight. We got so much. We were uh, spending, Mark spent a little bit too much time before the show started because it takes him like 30 minutes to put one coil in an RTA. 40 minutes. And he had to get a complete walkthrough from Mike, which is always entertaining because Mark's like, do you need to have the cap on the RTA when you put it over the build deck? So that was always fun. (laughs) Mike, that did happen, right? Yeah. Yeah. You guys still didn't answer my question, though. What's the question? If you need to use that cap. Yes. Yes. What if you don't use it? Then it's going to pour juice all over the place. Actually, you know what? Go ahead and try it out. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, do like, it. Why don't you dive down and try it live on the show? Yeah, so this way you could be pissed off. No, I'm not doing it. Let yes. Mike do it. All right. Well, we'll let Mike do it. But first, we're going to do a little bit of this. Yeah, it's that time again. It's all you can vape. Buffet time. Mark. You go first, Brian. What? Oh, are, are you still building? I'm almost done. I'm. See that? Look at All that. right. 
So this week, I'm vaping on something that's going to become a huge problem in my life, and I'm just putting it out there. I think if I expose these types of things, then people can be aware, and I'm not going to be able to live in the shadows. Uh, a little something came into my life called Lemon Tart from Dinner Lady, and it's not the first time she's entered my life. This little lady is infused with my weakness. It's like my kryptonite, Nick Salts. <laughs> so I got the Salty Lady here, and uh, I got that in the Infinix, and that's what I'm vaping on tonight and for the rest of my life. That's also a takeaway, vaping. Mark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also vaping on the Dada, the Nada, Dada. You, with the US1. And in that, I got a little bit of cereal science from the Cloud Chemist, banging cereal science. Uh, I'm also vaping on a little bit of this alter ego crooks from an unknown person that got our addresses and sent it to us. But I'm glad they did because it's delicious. Um, also vaping on. The Drop Dead on the Detonator from Squid Industries. This is the piano black version with the grandfather drip tip. Uh, what else am I vaping on? Oh, this little guy. Check this shit out. In the mail today. Johnny Drips, JMT Elite. Yeah, this is the Warrior. And I got a black Warrior sitting on top of the version 3 of the Hexome. So, I'm warrioring it tonight. Uh, I sound like ST. Hey, folks, tonight I'm vaping on the SQ with the recurve. <laughs> By the way, everyone give a, a keep ST in your thoughts. He's experiencing a huge lightning storm for the 15th day in a row in his neighborhood. So there you go. Um, I'm also vaping on the Boxer DNA 75C Squonk with, yeah, this is the drop solo. And what else? Am I missing anything? Oh, psh. How could I not? And just to avoid any confusion for people out there that have watched the Geek Vape and Digi Flavors video, um, this mod, the Nova, in their announcement or launch video, they showed a hand check of this <laughs> in their video. And I've been getting messages all week saying, Brian, is that your device? Is that your project? And I said, no, this is just all the reviewers got their names on the side of the mod. And I guess they didn't have this color except for my version. So they showed it in their video and everyone's confused. So yeah, this is the new Nova from Geek Vape and or this is Geek Vape. And this is the Apollo Creed. Yeah, the Creed RTA that Mark's still building on and he's been building for 30 minutes. Nope, oh, I've been done. So we're gonna talk about the Nova, we're gonna talk about the Creed, we're gonna talk about Nick Salts, we're gonna talk about the FDA comment period ending. Okay, Greg's going to be hitting chat all night long with links so you guys can go over and share how flavors have impacted your vape experience because you have a voice and we need you to speak loudly. And we're also going to uh, vape on this little breeze too from Aspire with green screen inflections on the side of the paint. So the breeze too from Aspire. And because I know Mark's still not ready, he's going to need another 20 minutes and that's just enough time for Mike Vapes to hit that shit for everybody. Take it away, Mike. Holy shit. I'm going next? Yes. Wow. Because <laughs> he's not strange. even close Mark, to being ready. Mark, Mark, if you want me to go, I'll go. You screwed everything up today, Mark. Go I'll ahead, go. Mark. Go ahead. Go. All right. I got the... Show you what I'm call it. Holy shit. Hold on. Go. Uh, this is the... What should we call it? The... Uh, yep. Warrior. And... Don't worry. Take your time, man. The Warrior with the... What should we call it? The Segeli Gold Brick. Uh, we got the DNA 200 with the Nada. We got the um, Inakin Proton with the whatchamacallit? What is this? The Drop Dead? Why are you covering the mod? Why are uh, you covering the mod? Just show the mod. Don't worry. Show it, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a Proton. <laughs> oh, my so wait God. a minute. So you're faking what you're vaping? Yeah. Uh, he doesn't know what he's vaping, man. First of all, it's does the, the build that's uh, in that even fire on the TAC-21? No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I got the uh, Geek Vape Nova with oh the, the new RTA, whatever it's called. It's called and then Creed. I got the other Segeli Gold Brick with the Mesh Pro. Juices, uh, let's see. We got some Keep It 100 Marshmallow Man. We got some Hit That Donut, whatchamacallit, Boston Cream. And then we got some of the 
uh, what should we call it? Overloaded vanilla custard, and I got the little UL whatever it is, whistle or whisper, whatever, with 12 milligrams of some tobacco in there. There you go. Take it away, Michael Vaps. Hold on, hold on. I'm interrupting. We, I just got an update. We've been searching for this mysterious figure for the past week and a half. The mystery man behind the sending of the alter ego crooks that is delicious, this is an Oreo vape, is none other than, you ready? Scott Zegan? No. Ooh. Somebody more mysterious, more violent and sexual. Brian Herb. Yes. No. <laughs> it is from Dwayne from Inigan. Dwayne. Dwayne. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. I don't okay. know. But anyway, he sent it cool. over. So there you Thank go. Thank you, Dwayne. Sir. All right. Take it away, Mike. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Uh, yes, I'm also vaping on the Apollo Creed on the Nova. Oh, sick. Vaping on that. Also vaping on a Proton. And yes, there are batteries in there. Engine V2. Recurve 22, Delegaf Squonk. I love that combo, by the way. D Pro Mini with the uh, Pulse 80. Recurve 22 Gunmetal Edition on this um, SQ. Intake Detonator. Triad Drop Dead. Drop Solo. SQ Boxer twenty seven hundred with the Warrior The Warrior Infinix Bassium with the lock RDA Smoke X Force What else? What else? Oh, check this. Nada on the boxer. Look at that, huh? That, dude, yeah. They're meant for each other, aren't they? Yes. Dude, is that thing out yet? Look at that. Out together, these two. Dude, that boxer should ship with a Nada. Yep. yep. It should come with a Nada. Uh, what else? Puxos. Easy. Spire Pu Look at that. It leaked. We got a leaker. It's because it's been Not sitting at your desk for six months. <laughs> <laughs> and I was saying it too earlier, right? I'm, I'm like, wow, I'm sure it hasn't leaked yet. And it leaked. That's all right. It leaked. What else am I vaping on, Mike? What are you vaping on, Mike? I don't know. Oh, how can I forget this one? Thank you. It's called the Sexy. Spade. That's a sexist. I won't even mention names for this one. We just show this. Is it the spade? We just show. Yes, it's the spade. It's the spade DNA seventy five with the twenty two curve. Hmm. Uh, liquids I am vaping on on everything here. Pile of liquids time. A lot of liquids. To show <laughs> here on this we one. go. We have a lot of liquids. So just gonna lay them all out. Hmm. Right there, we got some chop shop, blue hmm. pucker, tropical acai, crimson. Enigma, we are vaping on some Smoothie. We are also vaping on some Joe Mother F and Turner. Joe Turner. All that there. Uh, what else are you vaping on, Mike? Do we cover all of them? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, we're also vaping on some Asai. Also vaping on some pod liquids that I got here. Mm. Uh, then I'm also vaping on all these pods right here. And I also have another Infinix right there that I'm vaping on. That's it. Take it away. Speaking of Somebody. the Infinix, I'm going to take a pull of mine. Yeah, pull on it. But boy, pull on it. I didn't think that the uh, lemon tart flavor would translate well to the to the Infinix with the salt. Uh -huh. And it's perfect. It's like the perfect amount of flavor for this setup. I can vape it all day. Do you know that I get contacted by like a few people every single day about their problem that they're having with Nick's salt addiction? Stay away, folks. Stay away. That's all I'm saying. 
I have no addiction to Nick Saltz. No? I find that I like to switch in between, like, setups like this, like, dripping during the day, to this, depending on what I'm doing. Like, when I'm upstairs doing the dishes and moving around the house, I usually have this on me. But when I'm downstairs, like, sitting in front of the TV or something, I have this with me. Depends. Mark, what did you just fucking drink? I'm tasting this juice. I don't know what flavor it is. It tastes like beer. So what do you guys uh, think? Uh, let's let's talk about this uh, Creed. Get this out of the way. Creed. Let's, the Apollo? The, the Apollo Creed. Let's dive down. Is my volume low tonight? Nope. Because my I had a Windows update happen, and I hate that, and I think it usually resets my audio a little bit. Let me check. Uh, just, what's the Apollo Creed? Come on, man. The new oh, You were just yeah. building it for 30 minutes before the show started. <laughs> Come on, man. There we go. There's the Creed. And the uh, cool thing about this is that it's got different style uh, chimney airflow thingamajiggas, which I'll show you guys right now. There we go. So you always have airflow coming in. Let me grab a little something to do pointing out shit. So right here we have bottom airflow. So you always got airflow coming in from the bottom hitting your coil. Then you got optional chimneys with different style airflows. So you have this one here. It's kind of like slotted that you could use. And uh, you also have, which I should have had them out of the box. I put them back in the box after I cleaned them. Two more chimneys. So you have this chimney here where you can use just the bottom airflow. If I'm not mistaken, that's what that's for. And then you also have this chimney here. If you want, like, a, what do you call it? Airflow. Little hole right. airflows. So this here, I need to figure out how. I haven't messed around with this. But if, the way it looks is I think it just slots right in. So I'm going to try it out right now. This thing, <laughs> about the most amount of vapor I think I've gotten from an RTA. This is an awesome, awesome fucking RTA. Is that your full review? Yes. I think I'm, my final review is going up right now. This thing is badass. So I don't know what this thing is for. Does this thing go over this? Brian, we're not on that mod right now, but thank you. I'm showing off the Creed and the mod, dickhead. <laughs> You're jumping the gun. You're confusing me. It goes off like this. So that means your airflow. How does the bottom airflow work then? It's blocking off the airflow. Because there's airflow underneath the coils. Check it out, folks. Well, yeah, what am I saying? That's right. Dude, Mark's doing a cloud uh, comp. Like, Jesus. <laughs> so, yes, strictly bottom airflow. I get confused sometimes. Look at that fucking cloud just drop. God damn. It's, it's impressive, Mark. All right, so I'm, I'm very curious. I haven't tried it like this, obviously. <clears throat> Wow. Very curious to see how it works with just bottom airflow on there by blocking off the side because this thing got a lot of airflow. Yeah, it does. A lot of airflow. I would know you could pump some crazy power. I got a point one on here at ninety watts, and this thing could probably take more. Dude, I'm a point one also at one hundred and twenty watts. Yeah, this oh, this, this thing is really nice. And I nailed it on my first build too. You know what? I actually like it with just the bottom airflow without the side ones. The flavor's dynamite on this thing. Uh -huh. Really nice flavor. Smooth airflow, big tank. It's good looking. Yeah, this is a winner. This is really nice. Just in time for Creed 2. Is Creed 2 going to come out by the time Creed 2 hits theaters? I think it's already out, is it? Is it? Why don't you try knocking me out? I haven't seen Creed 1 yet. I have. I got to actually get that. Check it out. Okay. Dude, I can't believe Drago's son's going to be in Creed 2. What the fuck is going on with this world? Damn, this thing's 26 millimeters? It's a big boy. Well, you got to try it with just the bottom airflow. Yeah? Should I take yeah, it apart it's... now and do it? Yeah, just take the swap right. chimneys out. All right. All right. All right. For me, I think it's better. I think is it's it... too much airflow with the right. other one. There's a lot of airflow. With just 20... the bottom, it's fucking great. So I'm taking out this. So you guys 29. can see this. Wow. The flavor. The... It's got much better flavor. Without those uh, side slot things. That airflow looks awfully familiar. 
It does look familiar. Hmm. Is that the drop? I don't know. I've seen it wow. before, I think. Very familiar. Uh, let's see. Where did I put my box? My box. My box. By the way, hello everybody in chat tonight. You guys chilling out there? Hopefully everybody's having fun with one another. Don't get too touchy-feely out there. Yep. Let me show you guys also the top fill on this. They switched. They changed around that top fill. At first, when I saw the drip tip, I thought it was one of those situations, but it's not. It's The drip tip's got that uh, beauty ring thing going on. They actually made a flat top uh, for the uh, drip tip. So very impressed. Uh, not much for this top fill and threading. I mean, it's got this knurling for you to try and grab the turn, and it's just a little slit right on top. Ooh, just, just a little yeah. slit. Slit? Am I using a proper wording? Hopefully it's legal. I love little slits. Just call me legal little slit. There you go. Mark has a little slit. Where's your top fill? Might as well top it off since we're uh, got it open. All right, I've mm. closed off the inside air. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's fucking intensifies the flavor big time. Yeah, you get more of that juice spray. You know, yeah, when the spray it's... hits your teeth and mouth. It's yep. still great flavor, though. If you like to have huge clouds with lots of airflow, this thing's got so much adjustability, it's ridiculous. And I thought yep. that the in interior piece was more gimmick. It's not. It really is effective. It is nice. It's nice because it's on the fly. You could just change it out, you know what I'm saying? Does it come in any other colors? Oh, yeah, but you know them. They only send one color. Yeah. The Apollo Creed. It's got a nice smooth bubble glass too. Like it doesn't have any sharp edges on it. Yep. It's thirty millimeters at the at the tank. Is it? Twenty six at least. We gotta throw a different drip to find this stuff. Yeah, the flavor is really, 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 really good. You know what's missing on there? A recurved drip tip. Why should try it with the top it off? I wonder if we can give away a Creed tonight. Digi Flavor, are you out there? Geek Vape's out there. There you go. What do you think? Can we give? I know you said that we can give away a Nova and a Solo. Can we throw a Creed in? Maybe. I don't know. I don't want to step over any boundaries. But maybe maybe we can because the Creed is worthy, and I think you guys out there watching the show would love to win one. I'd like you to win one. Actually, like Mark's gonna send you one of his. There you go. I only have two, but I'll send you the used one. Uh, Blind J says, uh, when you hate the Creed RTA, does it make you want to punch people? <laughs> yes, it does. Definitely. All right, so I gotta... uh, the airflow, though, with just the bottom, it's a little on the noisy side. <clears throat> the flavor is nice. This is a nice RTA. Mm, very good. What do you guys think of the Nova mod? <laughs> uh, hold on, let me turn up my volume. I love the build quality on the Nova. Uh, I'm not too thrilled with it, to tell you the truth. Not really the looks, but the build quality. Does your door is your door a little? Is it the battery strap that's making the door wiggle or no? Uh, battery door moves up and down. Yeah, and also. Where like this resin pieces are here on the corners, it's sharp. Yeah, it is really sharp. And it's in your hands, you f you feel that the sharpness. To be honest with you, it, it kind of reminds me of. Hold on, where the, where is that? I think it's a, uh, all aluminum though. It's a nice lightweight box. Yeah, it's really nice. Like the build quality aspect. Of and it. the button feels really good. It's got a nice responsive click click. Yep, and it's using the same. Uh, board that the uh, legend has doesn't it have like a throwback feel to like the um the segeli dual 18650 mods like yes. shape wise yes exactly with the panel that comes off and like it's kind of retro in a way retro but modern with the material here yep kind of a mix of both you know past and present it reminds me of that uh noisy yes. too and this mm -hmm. no does it, oh yeah, I guess it's kind of. No, I actually have a mod that it reminds me of. It was a, from Woody Vapes. It was his box mod. And that's what it reminds me of. But uh, 
for digi vape or geek vape whoever's watching oh i thought i uh, switched cameras oops yeah it looks like geek vape said yes to the creed so we're gonna give away a creed right right here this sticks out a lot does like it that. yeah yeah the right. resin sticks up a higher than uh the... that's yeah, interesting this, this should be flush because you could feel it in your hands and this side too but this side is better actually no this side well actually both sides actually all four sides are like that pointy yeah. it's performing really nice mm. i'm the most impressed with this creed rta this thing is really nice oh yes yep like really, really, really nice. I haven't really liked a lot of the bigger RTAs recently, and uh, this one gives the flavor that I love from like the Reload RTA and stuff. It's just got that real nice flavor stream. And Mike, you're right. With that cap on, the restriction's perfect. Yeah, the bo bottom airflow, the strictly bottom airflow on this thing. It's money. And I wick this thing so fast before the show, just similar to like the intake where you lay your wicks just right on the top of the opening and don't stuff them down. That's pretty much how I do most of my RTAs nowadays. Yeah. You get that constant flow of liquid. It doesn't leak. Real nice. No X1s for the Creed yet, guys. We're going to do that toward the end. The price point for the Creed, I would imagine, <laughs> he called it the Greed. Uh, no, it would be the Greed if it was called the Drop RTA. Yes. Uh, well, I did, I did design the Creed, by the way. Oh, did you, Mark? Yeah, we go. My name's Alan. Mark takes Thanks. credit for everything on the market. Did you design the Warrior? Design the Warrior, the Creed, the Drop Solo, the uh, Recurve. <laughs> really, Mike? Did you know that he was involved? In the... <laughs> oh, I let him. I, I give him credit for everything. Mark is the brilliant Actually, mind. Mark, Mark invented vaping. Thank yeah. you. Thank Mark's you. the wizard behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, the curtain at the colonoscopy center. <laughs> Going back, and the doctor's like, I just did a colonoscopy last week. Why are you back? He's like, just check me again, doc. There's the wall here. Yeah, let me, uh, let, me let me dive down. Hopefully my volume's better. Oh, I broke the immersion. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, that's what I do. Hold on, let me, I want to open this live on the show, because this color is fucking beautiful. So... Building on this is easy. The only issue I kind of ran into is it was really hard to get the coils to glow evenly. Yeah, same here. One coil seemed to get more power than the other for some reason. I don't know why. I did not have that problem with mine. Look at this beauty. Airflow's smooth as hell, though. That's gorgeous. I did have one of the uh, one of these little pieces. It's not a huge deal because I fix it with a screwdriver. But one of these little pieces that move freely inside this post was stuck on the left side here, so I had to pop it free. Did you guys have any trouble with that? Yep, I did. Yeah, I mean it was simple. I just popped it. It could have been the paint, you know, sort of drying on there or something. I don't know. But that's what I'm thinking it is. Yeah, a little bit of paint. A lot of times, you know, there, there's huge deadlines with these, and when the reviewer samples come out, they sort of just like – I've actually had paint on the inside of the sample box when I get it because they put it in so quick. And I don't know about these guys, but mine doesn't look hybrid safe. Yeah, that one's a defect. Like that 510 pin is like – Hold on. Let me let me put my – let me check mine first of all. Hold on. Yep. Me too. I'm going to check mine. Mine is like almost flush with threads. Yeah, mine's not. What do you think? Let me see. Uh, out no, yours, yours comes out, Brian. Yours is good. The one Mark has, the gold one, is not. I'm, that's what I'm checking right now. The, this uh, gold one that I have here to see if the 510. I almost screwed it onto a hybrid. <laughs> it probably would have been fine, but it's, I don't know. It's cutting it a little too close for my liking. And the one thing about the RDA, the squonk pin is pre-installed on it. This one with the squonk pin protrudes out a lot. Yeah, you can see it right there.
All right, so love the post screws. Yeah, the post screws are nice and the easy. engraving in the actual bottom of the deck is a super nice feature that usually you get in higher priced RDAs. Love the little ramps where you put your wire in, so they lift up these little pieces here. Uh, airflow adjuster here is super tight. I mean, you need to this definitely you need to lube it up on this. I'm curious now. I do not have the squonk pin installed. I removed the squonk pin. Because when I, I put my build on it, I was ready to vape it, and then I realized, oh, shit, the squonk pin's installed. So <laughs> Mark probably put the drop solo 510 pin in, in his warrior. As you can see, the regular pin is in there, and it's almost flush. So I love the contrast between the colors on here and here, and this is deep. I mean, this is super deep. The only thing is, when you wipe this off, don't use a paper towel because the little paper towel pieces get stuck because it's deep. Yep. Same situation with the recurve. Yep. But gorgeous. Look at that. The cool thing about the squonk pin part is that uh, with the Allen key, the same Allen key, you install the squonk pin and the regular 510 pin. It's a very nice looking RDA, though. So when you do take this all apart, that little piece you gotta be careful it pops out. There's a little uh ceramic, I think it is, whatever the hell it is. Mark's nada is cigarette safe. Yep. There's an insulator in it, yes there is. There's an insulator, there's an O-ring, everything's in there. If there was no insulator, I don't think it'd be vaping there. Oh, that's right. That the five ten pin. Did you put the o, is the O ring on it? O rings on it. Insulators inside. Everything's a check. The O ring is actually it doesn't stick out. It's actually on the inside, so you can't really see it, but it's in there. Well, I'm installing the regular five ten on this gold one to see maybe it's just yours or maybe it's something with the gold version. Put up, put up, up, up. I'm assuming it's just mine because I always get bad luck. Ooh, Joe Turner's in chat. What's up, Joe Turner? He's super tired. All right, there you go. There's the regular 510. Does your stick out? Yeah, you're oh, sticking yeah. out. Look. Yep. Yeah, so maybe I just got to... Maybe what Tuffo was trying to do something. Man. Mark, oh. Henry knew that gold looks banging. The deck on the gold... The gold on the gold Segeli mod actually looks pretty damn good. Mike always has the prettiest deck. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. All righty. Let's put this we have a beautiful here. deck. Oh, shit. Sure. We have a... Uh... Um, as far as... What do you guys think of as far as building on it? Building on the Warrior? If you... Pre-cut your coils, it's easy. But yeah, you want to pre-cut them. If you don't pre-cut them, you might have a little bit of a hard time. Actually, when Mike does his review, you can get his recommendation from his coily. There you go. I'll tell you the coily number during the video. Coily number update from Mike Vapes. Hell yeah, baby. So uh, I could give a little something something on it right now. I, Me personally, I do not like the build deck. Why don't you like it? I do not like it. It was it's just a pain in the ass, my opinion. I think it was mostly not even. I think it's more because a couple of sets of coils that I tried. I thought the first set of coils was something wrong with it. One coil would heat up, the other one wouldn't. I couldn't get them both, and I had that cranked down the posts. Yeah, I got held it on the second build. My ones lighten up a lot. The other ones like halfway lighten up and i usually run this build at 90 watts and i got it at 101 watts and it seems like it's a little i don't know you can tell the other coils not lighting up as much yeah but uh uh airflow on this thing fucking smooth as butter yep or smooth as soap there you go flavors awesome too on it there was a porno from the 70s called smooth as silk just putting that out there for any porn aficionados. It, it, 
It almost reminds me like when I was when I first started vaping the uh, what's that shitty RDA? Not comparing it to a shitty RDA, but where the where it had a lot of voltage drop with the weird posts from what's his name? Why you think it's getting voltage drop? It, that's what that's what it feels like. Because the more I crank it up, I just don't. It's at 120 watts now. Because that one coil just won't light up that much. And they're both perfectly even. Both have the same wraps. Both all screws are tightened down. I don't know. It's a sexy RDA. I like it. The only other thing I'm experiencing is with this black one, I'm trying to adjust the airflow. And this is so fucking tight and there's no grip on the top. That it's a little, I don't know if I need to, I did lube it up already, but I'll lube it up again. But, you know, the, one of the problems with, oh, one of the problems with RDAs is that different paint finishes change the tightness of O-rings. I experienced that huge with the drop originally when the O-rings were so tight. And even some people with the Solo, like there's an inconsistency with O-rings sometimes. Mine's turning. Is but, it turning? Uh, yeah, but I have no clue. I can't see the air holes. Yeah, it's hard to see the air holes. So well, you've got to understand, too, the air holes on here, they are, uh, I think, uh, they're not even a millimeter. They're, a, I think you said, uh, three quarters of a millimeter openings. They're fucking tiny. So. This is what we were talking about with uh, don't use a paper towel. See, that? I got paper towels stuck inside. Yeah. One thing to do with things like this, when you have little holes like this and you want to see the airflow, what you do is you make this part of the top silver. So you can see it clearly when you're adjusting it. The only thing is it makes it look not as pretty when you have airflow closed off. So it's like a it's a trade-off. Uh-huh. I think for the, who this is designed for, which is like the builders that put you know crazy builds in there, and they're going to have the airflow probably wide open most of the time, you're just going to set it and forget it, which is the way most of us vape. Most of us have a preference for the airflow that we like. And once you set it and forget it, it does have a lock on the cap. So the airflow is going to be in the position centered if you have it wide open. Marty Guy just donated a buckaroonie. So, Mark, that goes to your hot dog fund. Yes! Thank you, Marty, you fucking son of a bitch! You have to sing the hot dog song for Marty, though. I don't... uh, You have to. You're you're a paid monkey now. I don't know the hot dog song. I'm sorry. You you sang it last week. What's the hot dog song? Hot dog, hot... mm -hmm. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog! That's just vaping good. Yeah. It's the, the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse song. Thank you. Uh, one other last thing to point out in the in the kit for this, I'll show you guys. <clears throat> come to me, Miha. Come to me, Miha. Oh, come on, puppy. Come to me. Feed, feed, papa, feed. You get these really nice bags. <laughs> they give you this cotton with the little shoelace string ends, yes. which is dope, and it fits perfectly. Uh, the coils that they gave, they're not, I mean, I guess, the, I don't know. They're not, I don't really like them. They're juggernauts from Watofo. Yep. Those came with it. Nice little bags. And last but not least, you get the standard pin. You, you also get a little ceramic plug thing for single coil. So if you want to block one side of the build deck, because it does have the big center posts, so you can block off one side and use that little ceramic piece. Yep. There you go. That's it. Yep. Thank you. Uh, doo, doo, doo. Anything else? What nada? Someone said I was supposed to send them a nada? Yeah. Henry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Mark gives away nadas all the time, and he never sends anything to any. So if you win a yeah. nada, it's as good as not never arriving. If you want to give away for the nada, and it's coming from Tiger Tech, expect two to three weeks it takes. Oh, no, I expect the next day shipping. That's probably not going to happen. Thank you. Hot dog, hot dog, hot dig in the dog. There you go. That's the song. Is that a good shirt you're wearing tonight, Mark? This is a good shirt. Here we go. It's intentional, Mike. Updates, updates. Yeah, let's get updates. Mark, Update me, please. Uh, recurve drip tips and uh, black gunmetal and stainless recurve top caps are in stock right now. Get that juice.com. And I have a coupon code for liquids if you want to buy liquids. I think it's juice20, all in capitals. 
Jews 20? Sale going on. It ends at midnight. Tonight. Midnight. Hmm. Yes, but uh, all the drip tips, the recurve drip tips are in stock. Hills to the yeah. Nice. Uh, do you know that uh, Amy and I ordered from your website? I picked up a recurve 22 millimeter sexy as fuck cap for my recurve. And we got some drip tips. Did Amy contact you? We're sitting on the couch. She's like, do you have a coupon code? And I'm like, just order it at full price, please. Support uh, our friend. There's there's a surprise in your package. Yo, is it? There's a few surprises. Your DNA? Huh? Your, never yes. mind. Yes. Is that build from like a month ago, Mark? This bill is actually the very first bill they put in it. What are you showing? How I don't you know. drip? I'm just dripping on it. What RDA is that? This is the Nada, thank you. Oh, shit, I thought it was a drop for a second. My bad. <laughs> oh, here we go again. It is very heavily drop inspired, thank you. Uh, Storm Vapor said, my Nada came covered in fecal matter. That could possibly happen. Hmm. But it is a limited edition, so you should be happy you got that. Spring vaping, uh, UGA girl, UGA girl, is it UGA girl? University yes. of Georgia, Asperillo? No, <laughs> it's mean. urinal, urinal, gastro, gas, urinal, mm. Ur urinary gastrointestinitis association. Mark's had that before. Sorry, we didn't read it. Fuck. Does that, oh, somebody that? type what you wrote? Yes, look what Joe Turner just wrote. He's got three new royal flavors. And they're way any huh? and anytime now. Salts also for pods. Don't tell Brian that. Next thing. Um, I can't wait for some Joe Turner Royal Vape Products dot com salt neck. I've got a serious problem with salt neck, Joe. You might not want to be sending me that shit. <laughs> I'll a find little you. trick, a little trick in case people didn't know, you could turn actually any liquid, your favorite liquid, into salt. Nick, just add like a teaspoon of salt, and you could enjoy. You could have no, any. Don't, don't listen to him, everyone. <laughs> don't listen to him, please. Mark <laughs> knows nothing. Yeah, that. come on, Mark. I don't want to be responsible, and this is on my channel. <laughs> please. You think someone would actually do that, Mike? Can I ask you a question? Yes. What <laughs> the fuck were you just showing off that beautiful, sexy piece that was in your hand? I don't know what you're talking about. Was that the new Nada mod? Yes. <laughs> Should we do another up and close? I would love it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Nada. This is the, the Nada curve. Yeah. Oh, that red is nice. Yeah, it is. The Nada curve, baby. You always see it first here on the vape team. Oh, that white and black is the hotness. That red and black one's sweet. Mike, can you put the r black and white one with the frosted cap? Who? The frosted uh, 22 cap. I have no clue what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Here we go. There you go. Here we go. There you go. Uh, University of Georgia at Atlanta. That was UGA. So, Mark, you were way off. I'm sorry about that. I thought I was right, but apparently not. Uh, a few people asked. <laughs> Joe Turner's juices. I should have them tomorrow, maybe. Hopefully. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nada looks like a solid RDA. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, clean as fuck. Do you need my address? LOL. Uh -huh. I sometimes worry when we have inside jokes on this show that people are watching for the first time and they might really think that that's called the not a curve. Well, Geek Vape wrote not a curve. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said that. Nah, she knows the joke. She, yeah. understands. she understands. Um, uh, Dingus McGee SQ doors have been in stock for two days now, two or three days. I've had SQ doors. Whoa. Uh, Henry Newman says that we missed both of his donations. Henry, thank you. I, am I not, I'm not seeing donations tonight. Yeah, they're not showing up on our side. So. What the fuck? 
If you guys want to message me on uh, the Vapor Chronicles Facebook Messenger with the comment that you wanted to have on the chat that I didn't see, uh, message me, and I'll be happy to read it. Unless during our up and close part. Uh, maybe on the up and close we couldn't see the chat. Yeah, if, when we're doing up and close. <laughs> uh, Catherine Nobles, where can you get a squonk pin for the drop? You can try to contact uh, Geek Vape or DigiFlavor and ask them where you can get it. I do not know. If you lost it or damaged yours, you might be out of luck. But I can't tell you that because I'm not customer service and I'm not an employee of them. So You're not? All customer uh, service related issues can go to them directly. I thought... I thought not, Mark. Oh, I thought they could email you with the product. No, oh, not at all. Mark. I'm not paid uh, for that. Gregory Brown says that he just ordered the Juggernaut RTA. Was it a good move or not? Uh, I think it's a good move. It's a good RTA. Very good RTA. If you like that restrictive lung hit, you gotta love it. Let's see. Uh, thank you, Amy. Thank you. Stormy Water says my one hundred dollar donation didn't show. <laughs> yeah, okay. I didn't get any. I'll, you know what I'll do? I'll check the donations also on the Facebook account and see who donated and what they said after the show. Uh, Specter wants to know where uh, he wants to know where he could buy a Nada Curve Solo. The answer for Geek Vape uh, just said, hold on. Walmart.com. No. Catherine Nobles, please email support at geekvape.com to get a drop squonk pin. And we also got a donation from Eric Vetter. He's he not related most... to Eddie Vetter. Oh, you want to read it? You can do it. No, go ahead. He says his hit, his hit that Boston cream tastes like Play-Doh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Mark's vaping on it right now. Does it taste it... like Play-Doh? The it doesn't place when you sometimes donuts will taste kind of doughy. Yeah, it's the donut I flavoring. Want to let it a little bit like I had this one sitting, and this shit is like the best ever. But I would say let it let it steep. Take the cap off for maybe a night, and just let it steep. But I never had I never had a play doh taste. Nope. But I burned through this bottle in like two days. Uh, Juan Paris, uh, do not know when it's coming out. I haven't gotten up. There. I should have the. I'm hoping next week I should have it in my hands, the retail version, so I could do the video. Um, we just got a message from Spring Marie, which I think is the University of Georgia girl. Uh, I was saying thank you for introducing the Chop Shop Bakery line. It is amazing. So if you want to taste that amazing, I recommend the caramel one. Um, you can get it at hitthatjuice.com. And it's in stock right now, right, Mike? What's that, the uh, caramel tart? Yeah. Yep, I just got a whole shipment in. Shop, shop, bakery. Awesome stuff. Um, use coupon code, coupon code JUICE20. All capitals, JUICE20. Yep. Uh, the other thing is, for those that have been waiting for the Drop Solo, the Drop Solo is now in stock and shipping from My Vapor Store and also from Element Vape. So if you guys are interested, they have all three colors in stock. The Drop Solo is in stock right now at those two places. The Drop Dead ships out tomorrow, and it will be arriving in stores on Monday. So they'll be shipping out on probably Monday or Tuesday, so they'll be next week. So the Drop Dead is coming next week, and the Drop Solo is in stock right now. Uh, DB Squonks, nope. I've been trying to find out a price point. I have no clue. Uh, no, I have not tried the Fatality RTA yet. Son of a bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. West, West the fur says that he's not wearing any pants. Oh, nice. Neither, neither are we. So there you go. Oh. Uh, Monada Candy came with no O rings. It's not supposed to come with O rings. You got to buy your own O rings. Yes. You can use uh, a rubber band. Mark McNay says, any advice? Oh, let's talk about. Uh, we got giveaways to do, right? Yes, we do. But uh, before we do the giveaways, let, we wanted to talk something else. You said, "What was that?" Something about the comment period, right? I did in the beginning of the show, but we can you talk did, about okay. it again. You can do it again. I wasn't paying attention. Greg, Please. post in chat where people need to click on right now because I believe today or tomorrow is the last day for the comment period for the yes. on the FDA's website. So they need your input on flavors and how they've impacted your vaping journey, and. Uh, do it. If you haven't done it yet, we need you to do it. For real, for real. 
Uh, Jesse B. Yeah, it should work. Did you put? Oh, you must not have put fucking the timer on chat. Six seconds. Oh, did you? Yeah. Six second timer. All right, so let's do giveaways. So it's about that time, shall we? Let's not say we did. Thank you. Yes, live giveaway time. So let's get those X1s rolling. First of all, we'd like to personally thank our sponsors. We have Aspire. Thank you, Aspire. If you want to check out Aspire, you can go to Aspire.com. We also have Geek Vape. Check out Geek Vape's website at geekvape.com. We have Hell Vape. Check out Hell Vape's website, hellvape.com. And last but certainly not least, we have Inakin, www.inakin.com. Thank you to our sponsors. They make the show possible. And also, they make giveaways like the one we're about to do possible. And tonight, we've got some sweet giveaways. So... We're going to start off with a giveaway from Geek Vape. And Geek Vape and DigiFlavor are generous enough to give away one of the brand new Nova mods. So we're giving away Nova, we're giving away a Creed, and last but not least, we're giving away a Drop Solo. So we got three dope ass setups for you tonight. And all you have to do is comment and chat. You need to thumb up the show for tonight. Right now, as you're sitting here, there's a little thumb. I need you to click it. And give it a thumbs up for the show, and also be a subscriber to the vape team. All right. So we you're asking an you. awful lot for this giveaway. I know that's as much work as you put in an entire week in your life, Mark. But it's really not that much for normal people. Oh, it's like that's three, a lot of three movements of a mouse. Not a big deal. So oh. if you win this giveaway, you need to Here contact me, and in the title of the message you send me, you need to send it to the Vapor Chronicles, the Vapor Chronicles, <laughs> on Facebook Messenger. Dad, I'm sorry. I don't think I can get through this. <laughs> People told me they want me to push you over the edge tonight, so. Uh, I just got a message. Hold on. This is important, actually. This is a message from Henry Newman. And he said, I am wondering where my nada is from Mark. I met him at Foxwoods, helped him insert Pink Stacy, and he thanked me with a handful of bow pods and a handy. <laughs> He is supposed to be sending it. I spoke with him personally, and he promised to rub it on his balls and send it. And I can't wait to meet you, Brian. I hear you have soft hands, and I bet you give great handies. Well, the truth of the matter is, I do, and you will. And he won't. So he just texted me the same thing. Yep, so there you go. Um, so you need to contact me on The Vapor Chronicles on Facebook Messenger. And in your comment, all I need is at the top, you need to put Nova winner, drop solo winner, or... Creed winner. Okay, that's the top line. The next line is your name, full name, your address, your telephone number, and your email address. Okay, if you don't send all of that to me in one message, not multiple messages, one message with all of that, just as I asked, you're not going to win the giveaway. <laughs> I would purposely send all that information like in separate messages. And that's why you lose, Mark. We have standards here. The reason why I want it all in one send is because I copy and paste it on Skype to, to DigiFlavor, and it's easier for them when they transfer the information over for the shipping labels to have it organized in that manner. Yep. Okay, guys? So I really don't appreciate let, it. Don't let Brian tell you guys what to do. You do what let you want. Let me tell you something. If you want to make a huge <laughs> mistake in your life, use Mark as that person that you, helps you make decisions because it's a bad one. Okay? The guy makes consistently poor choices every day of his life. Ryan's getting triggered. <laughs> it's working, folks. All right. Bring up bring up your job, Mark. Pick it up. Or pick it up. up. All right. I'm waiting for you guys to put up. The first one we're going to go with is 25, and that's because the millimeters of the Creed is 25 millimeters. 25. Here we go. Roll them. 25 is... Holy shit. I, I don't know if he can win or not, but Pillar of Clouds e-liquids. Would that be a piff or is that... Can a company win? Well, what was the first thing we're giving away? You just said the Creed. Well, you is said it... 25 because that's... Oh, diamond. okay. Yeah, yeah. There you go. All right. So the Creed is first and Pillar of Clouds won. So Pillar of Clouds, if you want to win, message me like I asked with all the information and they'll send it out to you. If you want to pass it forward, we'll announce it next week on the show. Because, I mean, just... business owners are people, too. Yes. Are well, they? To yeah. If you want to keep it, he could put it down in the chat. 
Why not? I don't know if we'll see it though. Everyone stop the next look. one. Let Mr. Pillar speak his mind. You can do the next one. All right. The next me, the next lucky number is twenty two. And that's for the millimeters on the drop solo. Twenty two. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Tighten your brassiers. The winner is nobody. Let's do it again. Do, 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 do. I'm going to reinsert it. Here it goes. Head first. Winner is... Holy shit, tonight's a bad night. The vape team. You guys want to piff it? You want to keep it? <clears throat> the vape team can't win. Why not? Please go. Move forward. <laughs> I don't think Pillar of Clouds is watching. That might have been from earlier when they commented. Oh, yeah? Well, we'll, let's do the 22 first. Get that out of the way. Let's do it again. 22 is Dave Kent. K-I-N-T. Not to be confused with... Clark Kent. There you go. Kent. Dave or Kent. sloppy Kent. <laughs> Kent Akute? No. Mark, please, just go, please. Please. Dave, Dave Mark, Kent shut up and just do your job. He please. Won. You're going to get us into trouble. Congratulations, oh. Kent. You won. <laughs> Contact me on the Facebook Messenger, the Vapor Chronicles, with all the information as I put out earlier. Mark, please continue. We're doing a Nova giveaway. Let's do it. Thanks for Wait. the balloons in chat, by the way. What was, that was, what, was this, what was this giveaway for? That was for the fucking drop solo. Okay, so we got to redo the whatchamacallit. No, we don't. We don't no, know no, if they no, want to no, win no. or not. So we're moving forward, Mark. Oh, all right, here we go. Give me a number, folks. 14. Thank you, Mike. 14. You'll get a lot of prison time for that. Here we go. I can't even. I. I... <laughs> Don Earls. Don Earls. R-L-S. Don Earls. Congratulations, Don. Oh my god. Uh Pillar Cloud said he's messaging you on Facebook. Oh, is he? Yes. Okay, hold on. All right, so what's the next giveaway now? We did uh are we doing a giveaway with uh Palvape? <clears throat> These uh, giveaways are US only, folks. US I, only. I do not have a word from Hellvape about a giveaway. All right, we're gonna do an Anakin giveaway. So basically uh we could do one or two things. We could either give away um, the proton kit or the zenith kit. Hmm. X X one for the proton. Everybody's X one, Mike. <laughs> That's all right. X one for the proton. X two for the zenith kit. Then we'll see whoever which are ones is the most. We'll do. Or should we do one of each? Why not? Let's do one of each. Why not? There we go. All right, we'll do one of each. All right, that's what we'll do. All right, and then we're going to do another giveaway after that. So don't oh, leave. Yeah. Hold on. Yes. All right, so first one we're going to do is going to be for the Proton. Number 23. 23. For Proton. For the Proton. The winner is... do Mike... Chelton or Shelton, C H E L T O N. Yeah, there's a funny story with him. <laughs> this is funny that he won it. But anyway, we're going to talk about Michael Shelton in a minute. Michael Chelton, congrats. Uh, you know how to contact me. You've won the Proton. Congratulations. Name, phone number, all that jazz. Uh, now we'll do the Zenith. The Zenith, sponsored by Magnavox. Ryan, do you want to give a number? I would like to pick the number three for the inches that Mark is packing fully erect. Yes! Three inches, but I'm 20 millimeters in diameter. Oh, wait, that's not really that big. Never mind. Nope. All right, here we go. It's the, tr it's the truth, though. <laughs> three is nobody. Let's do it again. Here we go. Three long, hard inches is going to nobody. Let's try three more inches. Here we go. Three more Ooh. inches. Roy French. Roy French. Congratulations, you French SOB. Roy French. Roy. All right, All right we're going to do uh, another chat giveaway. And uh, 
Uh, Pillar of Cloud says yes for the Creed. So he wants it? Yeah, yeah, he won it. He so says, contact me. Yep. I would want the Creed uh, we're gonna do a Pillar of Clouds. We're going to do a chat giveaway. This is only for U.S. residents. So whoever wins this giveaway... Oh, did we do the... We did the Zenith, right? Yeah. Yep. Who won it? Oh, Jesus. You just said the name. Roy French. Oh, Roy French. Okay. Yes. Duh, I knew that. Anyway, we're going to do... Uh, so Roy French, uh, message me. You know how to get to me. Um, what was I saying? Chat giveaway. U.S. residents only for this one. And this giveaway is coming from the person that won the Proton, Michael Chelton. He's doing a $50 gift card to hitthatjuice.com. Holy that shit. Giveaway. $50 hitthatjuice.com giveaway. Yeah. <clears throat> so U.S. residents, so the person that wins has to confirm in the chat that they live in the U.S. How would you do so, that? What's that? Would you take a verbal commit uh, proof? Yeah. Okay. There you huh? go, guys. Go ahead, pick you. a number, Ryan. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. Um, I'm going to pick number 50 for the age of ST Vapes. Oh, no, he's 60 yeah. now, right? 50. 50. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Do, 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 do. 50 is... Hmm. Oh shit! Hispanic vape reviews. Wow! Congratulations, right, so you Hispanic sob. That's his name, Hispanic sob. No, Hispanic vape reviews. All right, Hispanic vape reviews. Uh, comment in the chat. Let us know. Confirm that you are U.S. resident. Say yes. I live in the U.S. With Mexico, can be considered the U.S. Mark, please shut your mouth. <laughs> You are a fool of fools. I'm going to start drinking, I think. And it's the only way I'm going to be able to get through more shows. I really am. The Knicks, Between the Nick Salt addiction and your fucking mouth, I can't take any more of it. And you're coming to my house at the end of August? Mike, what am I going to do? I don't know. I feel for you, brother. Amy wants it. to go canoeing with me and Mark. <laughs> That's almost worth it for the video I would take. God. Could you imagine Mark getting bad sunburn on that white ass deck of his? Dude, I am not going on a canoe. There ain't no way in hell. Well, uh, Hispanic. His, his, yes, I'm from Orlando. Okay, Hispanic vape reviews. Send me an email. Hit that juice at gmail dot com. All right, give me a screenshot, I guess, of your channel, something in the inside <sighs> of your channel to prove that it's you, because obviously that's not your real name. So, thank you. Congrats. And thank you, Mr. Michael Chelton, my man. Take it away, Mark. Uh, Bean Builds, you are all set, brother. Congrats to you, too. Oh, God. Here we I go. don't get it. Somebody asked in chat where Pink Stacy was, and I'm just wondering when to know. She's still here. No bullshit, guys, but this uh, creep, Creed, I'm sorry. The Creed RTA, this thing vapes like a motherfucker. Yes, it does. Yep. I hope they come out with some more colors. This is a very good RTA right here. Woo, look at that am shit. I, am I reading that my volume is too loud because it was too soft earlier? Uh, we're going to do a replay giveaway last week, guys. When you're screaming, it does get kind of loud. Well, Maybe when obviously, I'm fucking screaming. You may want to tone it down. Your blood pressure might get high. Maybe you need to tone down your bad behavior. I'm sorry, Dad. Please don't spank me. You'd like that too much. Can we take a bath together, Dad? <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> we, could, we could play fucking battle shits in the tub. <laughs> Where we both take dumps and the shits come up and I'll try to, <laughs> I'll try to sink your battle shit. Oh, God. Re replay giveaway? Was there one? We could have no, your skin, your no, skin no. wagon will be submerged in liquid. Here we go with the skid wagon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was there one? I don't know. Let me let me actually double check. I don't remember. I don't even know what's going on. I have no clue. Yeah. Welcome, folks. Please send photos of your skid wagon to the Vapor Chronicles. Yes. Yes, yes there was. was. Someone said. Yes, there was a replay giveaway. How about? It? Here we go. Oh, I think I said there wasn't, and then I decided there was. That's what happened. 
Let me head over. All right, here. so there you go, Mark. You know what to do. Okay, let me go there. <coughs> go to the vape team. Who the hell is that? Somebody's live right now. Who is that? Go to there. I'm getting more and more confused and overwhelmed as this show continues. Oh, yeah. Amy did a giveaway where if people messaged me, she's, <laughs> I'm going to kill her. Nice try, Amy Relish, you sneaky little troll, you. Oh, yeah. Anyway, right. guys, anything else? Anything else? Any, yeah, any we're announcing a giveaway. Are we? I don't even know where I am right now. Yes. Well, you are. You're, if you lay up the Nick Salt, you might know where you're at. I need, actually, that's the problem. I'm not Nick Salt. You need Nick Salt right now. Thank you, man. All right, here we go, folks. And look at that bulk chat going on. Woo! And the winner is, I got to read it first to make sure they say what they're supposed to say. I want to hit that juice, Mike. Looking forward to that squonk, too. The winner is Blind J. Blind J. Congratulations, you blind son of a bitch. You are Blind J. Email me. Hit that juice. Like <laughs> Proof of your channel. Driver's license. Oh, Hispanic vape review. Same thing. I need a cop driver's license, too. Uh, 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 there, there was a question in chat is this creed and nova available and it is not available yet no. they're actually not even shipped out yet but they will be available probably in like two to three weeks i would imagine roy french gave five dollars he said panel what max size of coils can get into that creed i like I got three millimeters yeah, yeah i got threes in here right now yeah threes Anything over three that cap's gonna hit yep you're gonna short three the breeze gonna be the limit. I like this thing. And it's gonna be dual coil only. Dual coil only. Mark, have you ever done a pants bulk? R ripped uh, off those fucking w Walmart joggers that you're wearing? I wear some pretty hefty, like, bottoms, and they're not easy to rip. Yeah. I'm a big guy, so I don't wear, like, really thin bottoms. <laughs> I can just take my pants off. Oh, Jesus. Mark, uh, Brian. Oh. Brian, Brian. He's yeah. taking his pants off. <laughs> Want the channel pull? Mark. There, I bulked my pants. Dude, I shit you not. I just saw a fly come out of your underpants. <laughs> that is disgusting. We're losing watchers now. I think a cheese curd just fell out. I think I saw a fly in a Frito. Dun, 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 dun. All right, guys. Have a good night. All right. Well, thanks yeah. for watching, Mark. You're going to be booted from the room as soon as your show's over. And uh, should I try to bulk solo? This? I'm not stressed at all. It's just Mark. He does something to me that I can't even talk about. Uh, we got 4.99 from Henry Newman. He said, "Mark, the nada you rubbed on your balls. I spoke with you about it. So, have you sent it out yet, Mark? Not yet. I'm waiting to build up some." Some fudge on my nuts so I could rub the nada on it. Are you going to rip that fucking shirt off and show us your goodies or what? <laughs> <laughs> this is my bulk, fucking bulk, good shirt, bulk, you cocksucker. Did I bulk my underwear too? Yes. No, my little penis will pop out. <laughs> that was a good shirt too. Oh, I love the good shirts when they come off. God damn it. Look at you, you sexy, masculine son of a bitch. That shirt matched your hat, too, man. Well, let me drop my chair. Ah, there we go. Oh, that's the best. This, this might be the best show we've ever had, I think. Oh, God. Well, guys, take it all in, because the show's about to end. So all you guys that want to take some screenshots, do it now for your whack-off material later. And uh, we'll be back next week. Same vape time, same vape channel. Same vap channel. The vap I got team. milk leaking. The milky breast. Oh. You want to say goodbye, Mike? Bye. Bye, Mike. Bye. <laughs> Dude, I'm sitting here in my underwear. <laughs> so sorry. You look so vulnerable. I feel vulnerable. You don't have a nice chest color to nipple ratio contrast. <laughs> no, I don't. You need darker nipples. You should burn them with a lighter.
<laughs> I feel very... Got the nice uh, original white tee on again. I love those. This is a good shirt too. <laughs> I bet you it is. It's got a yellow tint to it. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Are we still live?